what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of Nose, man. Hashtag Farms of Nose. Today, we've got 34 PC mods in testing. We got 12 console mods in testing. With all those, 14 mods were released today. Dines have announced the next DLC for Farming Simulator 19. A2 Studios Camp It Pack will be sent off for testing this week. JA Modding teases us with his John Deere riding lawnmower. Angry Mods has a new Massey Ferguson. JHHG Modding's John Deere 1720 is almost done. 40 Modding are starting work on a new trailer. Plus, Raptors Paradise want to know if you have had any trouble with the Millennial Farms map on console. Let's check it out. It's SD4 PC. We have two PTS 45, AGM TM 240, Ratner TA 16053, Rick Garage, BRN 1.5, Plus Challenger 95E, Composter, Doits DO6 Series, Doits Far 5100 TTV, The Dog Challenger 95E, Eurospand Pack, Farmall Slupsk 2.8, what in the world's that? Gate Pack, Ranger Silo, Hebdow High Seat, Iron Wheels, John Deere 7R 2014, John Deere X9 2020, US version. It's in testing right now. John Deere XX30 idle and load sounds. Gun PZ280F. Large farm workshop. Blizzard MP480. Manure plates with a slurry tank. MTZ Belarus 1523. Placeable demolishable house. Very interested in what this would be. Placeable hanger pack. Weavon HV. Rower system. Samson SP1417. Speed limit and restriction signs. Static buildings. Use chainsaw anywhere. And the weight pack 800kg 2250kg. It's SD4 con we have the Case IH 4400 series pack. Community building. Farmhouse garage with working doors. Horseshred B231. Homemade bell trailer. Lajita Plow. Lizard Titan 10,000. New Holland Versatile. PB30X1. Rosemarin H912. The Sack S780H. And Seed Plow. With all that being said, we still have 19 mod city waiting to be tested, but the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is killing it over there at Giants with one work day yet again. In addition to the mods and testing, 14 new and updated mods were released today on the Endgame Mod Hub. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the description and the first pinned comment below. Making our way into today's top stories, and Giant Software have announced the next DLC for Farming Simulator 19, the Roten Pack, which will be available to all players of Farming Simulator 19 next Tuesday, March 16th, 2021. Not 2020, like I said in the video this morning. It will be available for $3.99 USD for all players. If you want to pre-order the DLC on PC or Mac, I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out using that link does go to help support the channel at no additional cost to you and if you want to if you own the season pass or premium editions you will receive the dlc at no extra cost they say upgrade your fleet of forestry machinery from two brand new big size machines made by the swedish manufacturer roten industry you can now operate the roten h21d and the roten f20d which were authentically digitized for farming simulator 19 players roten is first in forest and first in farming simulator not sure what the last part of that means but hey they are first in forest they say with two brand new machines a selection of forestry machines for farming simulator 19 players get some big size additions roten's wood harvester h21d is an extremely powerful tool to efficiently and effectively harvest wood and on top of that the crane is foldable which is very cool therefore allowing you to transport it in a compact state to your wooded destination and secondly with the wood forwarder you're able to transport an enormous quantity of cargo with the help of a strong and fast crane. Authentically designed for Farming Simulator 19, both of these machines will increase your efficiency in your forestry business, and these are the only two machines coming with this new DLC. Next up, we hear from A2 Studio, and they say that their Camp It Pack, the 20, or the TLX 2020 attachment trailer, will be sent off to Giants for testing say in the current week which is very very cool uh, i was going to show this off over the weekend i believe it was on saturday i was going to show this but we decided to hold off instead because he was adding some new things what did he add well simply just check him out he's going to be live streaming live over on youtube we'll have a link in the description below check that link out don't tell him DJ sent you. JA Monning have released a new teaser video showing off their John Deere self-propelled mower with all the attachments and everything that's going to be coming with it, at least in this first part. As you know, with most mowers, if you want to attach them, you just simply drive over the uh, mower bed and it will pick it right up. This is going to deposit all of your grass over to the right, just like it would in real life. It's not going to shoot it out like generally, but still nonetheless is very cool also coming with this will be a bagging setup so you will be able to load and pick up what you mow however i do not think the capacity of this is going to be very large so 
just keep that in mind. It's also going to be coming with a fertilizer spreader, and it'll also have a rear trailer that you can pull as well. And I've also been told that it'll have a front loader, which is going to be very very cool. I'm so excited about this mod pack right here. Those of you that are Massey Ferguson fans out there, Agri Mods has you covered. The Massey Ferguson 4300 series, they say, coming soon for all platforms. Very beautiful Massey Ferguson here, as you can see, with a couple different wheel setups. We've also got the 4308, I believe is what this is, what we're seeing right here. So I assume maybe 80 horsepower, something like that should be somewhere around that. And it will be uncovered as well. So uh, maybe we'll have a couple extra things, but very likely we'll just have the single covering on top. But hey, I'll take those open cab tractors. Let's do it. Next up, we hear from JHHG Modding talking about their John Deere 17 20 12 row 36 inch and 16 row 30 inch versions of their planters. They say, here's an update of the progress of this. Currently, the proper model, 100% done, UDIM, decals, and dynamic hoses are 100% completed, with programming and scripting being about 95%. They say this will be released for PC and consoles on the official in-game mod hub. They say, of course, you can see all of the electric uh, wires, the hydraulics, the pressure, flexible hoses. They're all one-to-one -one from real life, and they say, already finished. Every single light has its own hose. Every single hydraulic cylinder has its own hydraulic hose as well as many other things as well. I said, what do you think about the details? I think this is insane. But, of course, it's JHHG modding. We expect these to be, the, I mean, second to none. Basically, second to none. Killing it. They do say, due to the small and medium size of the machinery, there is no reduced need for console version. So, the mod hub limitations will not hit players who don't use the PC version. So everyone will have the exact same mod of this. Boarding modding say they guess it's time to make an old school trailer. Here you can see we've got a couple. I think these are called Dooley or yeah, do Dooley. I don't. I'm not sure exactly what the brand name or how to say that is. Dolly. Either way, hey, some old trailers. You guys ready for these? I'm ready for these. Coming from 40 Modding, you know they're going to be great. And lastly today, a lot of you guys have been either talking about, referring issues, or complaining about the Millennial Farms map. And Mappers Paradise have actually posted over on their group, which I'm going to link below. Let them know if you guys are having this issue. They say, has anyone on PlayStation 4 not been able to download or get 90% uh, further on the download before it crashes? And did you find a fix for it if you did? A lot of other people are posting other issues there. So if you have any problems that you've been experiencing, whether it be on console or maybe you're on PC with the old, well, I guess the old version of PC wouldn't be much, but new version of console. If you're having a problem, let them know. And you have to let me know if my easy outros are getting any better for you. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods. Myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make Make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel for new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Also, I'm trying to do farm sim news a little bit differently. It's not so scripted and it's not so straightforward and just boring story, 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 story. I'm trying to have a little bit of fun with it. I hope you guys are having fun with it too. If you like the new way that I've done it from yesterday and today, let me know in the comment section below. But I'll be done. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Let's be honest, I've always been crazy, you're just now seeing it.